A sellout crowd on a beautiful Sunday in Baltimore. The two-time defending NFC champion Seattle Seahawks come to town to battle the 4-8 Baltimore Ravens. After the penalty, first down at the 32. Lawson looking down the field. And the catch is made at the 40 by Daniel Brown, the rookie out of James Madison. From the Seattle 41-yard line. Lawson steps up and got back to the line of scrimmage. Michael Bennett there to get it. 11 touchdown passes in his last three games, and that's a big gainer on the first down by the undrafted rookie. Second down and five. Wilson fires a strike again to Curse. Normally with Baltimore, Baldwin plays a lot like him. Whoa. So far this year. Again, Rawls. What an incredible story Thomas Rawls has been. An important play for Baltimore on a third and four. Would love to try and force the field goal attempt. Wilson looking around. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Tyler Lockett. to take advantage of this. Their defense helped them out, helped create this field position. They have to help them now. Yeah, they got to take a shot downfield. Kelsey McRae takes over for Chancellor, and they take that shot downfield. And that's Jeremy Butler who's run out of bounds. It's not the playbook we had in Chicago. So in two and a half weeks, he's having to learn an entirely different offense himself. Larry down and enjoy. And bottled up at the line of scrimmage by Avery. Third most accurate field goal kicker in NFL history is Justin Tucker. Third down and five. Good protection. What a throw and what a catch by Rocket who took a wicked hit which draws a penalty flag. Reception made good enough for a first down to Baldwin. So now first and goal. Fake it to Harris. Wilson. And wide open in the end zone. And Wilson. Incomplete. They're all pro tight end. Jimmy Graham out for the year with a knee injury. Ball's out. Ball is out. And a scramble for it. Did the Ravens get it? They did. Doomerville at the bottom of the pile. And Dewan Harris, who replaces the injured Thomas Rawls, who's replacing the injured Marshawn Lynch. Going down 11. Bacon. And up for a first down. At 215 pounds to pick up the first down, Mark Tressman says, find the open zones and get the ball there quickly. That's a paramount today. It's on a third and 11, he gains 17, and they come right back. Was injured in the fourth quarter of that game. Teams have thrown the ball well. The better quarterbacks have thrown the ball well against Seattle. And Clawson's throwing it well right now. That's a first down to the 47-yard line. Here they come again. Batted into the air, defended by Jeremy Lane. And here they come. Quick throw, and again it is Baldwin making a big catch to move the chains to the 29-yard line. Second down and 10. This time on target to Curse. Jackson. Short of the first down. Surprising numbers, not for Wilson, but certainly for Clawson. Just going to go ahead and run out the clock. Is that oh, out, guys? Yes. yes, it is. And Bobby Wagner has the football. What an unbelievably bad time for the Ravens, who are content to run out the clock. Second down and 10. And it is a touchdown to Doug Baldwin. The Seahawks capitalize on the fumble by Buck Allen and score with 38 seconds left. <laughs> Is there a chance I can get a couple extra in there? 
Down the sideline, and look at Kamar Aiken go up and get it in the 42. I, I like the fact that they tried to make a play for an 18. Didn't just go ahead and play turtle at the end. They're going down there again, and again, it is Aiken. And that is a first down to the 22-yard line. From 28 when they elected not to go on that fourth down. So how about that? We get 10 points. All 12 games this year decided by eight points or less. You got it. And the Seahawks get the ball. Guys are introducing themselves to each other in the locker room. So this is a tough, tough Later. deal. But they continue the battle. It will not be easy for Seattle. Well, they fake it one way and then they dump it off the other way to Wilson an empty backfield. He has been under no pressure this entire game. And that is certainly the play of choice. Well, after the penalty, back out to the 22-yard line on a second down and 20. All day to throw. And it is a touchdown to Doug Baldwin. Seven touchdowns now for Baldwin in his last two and a half games. He had three touchdowns in the first nine games of the year. Third down and seven. And boy, what a nice catch that was by Brown. But he appears to be about a yard and a half, maybe two yards short of a first half. But when you have Suggs on one side, it frees you up a lot more one-on-ones. -on -one. First. Converted after two years from tight end to tackle at Penn State. Just sitting down in that zone, very close to a first down, is Lockett. Should be the final play of this third quarter. And Wilson rolling out left to run for a first down. And slides across midfield. They have work to do here today. Trailing 21-6 as Wilson starts the fourth quarter looking for the home run ball. And he got it. It is a touchdown for Tyler Lockett. Forty nine yards to the rookie. You know his father was very very ill when he came out of high school in Richmond Virginia he decided to go to college at North Carolina State University. That's intercepted by Richard Sherman. And then it looked like he was spun down right at the 38 yard line. Very few teams have thrown Sherman's way this year. I want to get back to Wilson for just a minute. As Curse breaks a tackle and he's inside the 20 yard line. Kids out there, if you have a dream, don't ever let somebody take that dream away from you. Of course, he was drafted in baseball by these Baltimore Orioles. And he's just thrown his fifth touchdown of the day. And the third won the ball when it looked like Ladarius Webb lost his footing or maybe got turned around in the end zone. And it doesn't get any easier than that. And with that, a lot of the. With a, Passer rating of up over 138. And I got to be the first to admit, I have no idea how you come up with a passer rating. All we know is that number is good. Impressive indeed for Pete Carroll, Seattle Seahawks, coming on the road against an undermanned Baltimore squad and doing what you're supposed to do to teams who, at least due to all the injuries, talent level, they're just not there with this Seattle team. Second largest home loss in franchise history. The other coming to the New England Patriots the final month of 2013.